that focus. All right, another episode of Pitch for TV Selector here. We got the underachievers. Appreciate up, you guys. Man? Thank you. Thanks for having us, brother. So, uh, I guess off the jump, best thing to go into is just explaining what indigoism is for people who aren't really hip to actually where you're coming from. It's like indigo is basically like the movement that we represent, and it's basically like we're trying to bring a new age conscious to like our generation because we feel like our generation is like already ready to like be in tune to enlightenment. Mm -hmm. So like indigo is the name that we use because it makes it easy for people to gather information on it. But it's like it's more just for our generation. So it's like that's where the indigo part comes from. It's like supposed to do with your chakras and a certain color of your chakras and that's what our generation represents. But the ism part came from yeah, it was uh, my, my mixtape. His I first mixtape. But I'd never finished it, so like we just decided to like take it into yeah, it. It was this. called Inner Soul Music, so yeah. it was like ISM. Okay, right. So we took the ISM with the indigo, we made it an indigoism and then it was just gotcha. perfect. It turned into a science. So like yeah, it's okay. a science now. Did you have like a moment of realization where everything clicked for you in terms of understanding? I decided to get baptized because I was trying to like find out like about God or whatever. And then after that, I just realized that that was really garbage when I was like 13 or 14. So I became atheist and I just completely refuted all like aspects of God. Mm -hmm. And then like uh, my father's like part, like he follows Buddhist, Buddhism a little bit. So like I just started grabbing books from about Buddhism. And from there, I just realized that like God doesn't have to be like through religion. You know what I mean? Like, you, it's like a philosophy that you can find by yourself, and I feel like you're supposed to find it by yourself. Yeah, that's true. Me in high school, probably, like, it's the first time I took, like, psychedelics, like, it led to my <laughs> understanding. Like, I, I had mad questions, but, like, when I took it, uh, it led me to that. So is this something you guys cultivate together, or is just kind of each of you find your own way? Yeah, it's like throwing ideas off of each other. Together, you know what yeah. I mean, like learning different stuff. It's like we all came to it from different ways. We all put each other onto different things. Yeah. Steve's, I knew Steve since I was like probably 14, 15. I knew all the pro era kids because I had to skate across the street from Mario that's in high school. So it's like, it's crazy how the whole conglomerate actually came to everything together. Because it's like, for me and Steve throwing back ideas over the indigo things or whatever, he told the whole pro era and they got on it. Okay. And then like me, Juice, and me have been moving consciousness for like eight years now. How does working with Flylo, like, how does that work? I mean, it's sick, it's just revolutionary, because like, before I even like met him or knew about him, like the person who introduced me to him was like, yo, this dude is this mysterious guy that no one will ever meet, that no one knows, that like doesn't like rappers. You would like him, because you like psychedelics. Yeah. And like, seven months later we get signed to him, so it's like, that's the whole like wow factor for me, but it's like. Yeah, I used to hear him on Adult Swim a lot, like the mm -hmm. instrumentals, and I used to like, damn, this shit's dope. And now we're working with the dude, so. Has he brought anything to the table that caught you off guard? Were you like, oh wow, I didn't even expect something like this, or? <laughs> yeah, a couple things I won't say on the camera, <laughs> but. <laughs> word, yeah. And how is working with him going forward? Is he helping with production, or? Of course, yeah. There's certain things that like are already there for us, like, for instance, like a zombie feature. People expect it. It's going to be there all the time. And like, mm -hmm. as long as we keep building on our own things, right. that'll become killer when that happens, you know right. what I mean? So those are our best friends, but it's like, when the time comes for it to happen, it's gonna happen. You guys are doing more mixtapes this year, or a new record coming up, what's the plan next? Uh, yeah. Yeah, EP. Yeah, probably like a, then, a little EP, like album practice, I guess. Maybe a Beast Coast mixtape. Yeah, it's yeah. probably, oh, there's definitely other mixes coming, like yeah. collaboratory mixtapes. Yeah. Cause y'all are going on tour soon, right? It starts the 20th, on. but we go to, um, South by, yeah. yeah, we all go to South by Southwest together, so it's like the 8th, yeah. and we all travel to Texas. Uh, so then we have two beats that we're gonna present you guys with. One is uh, Stuart Villain and the other one's Ryan Hensworth. Go check them out and see what you feel about them. All right. All right. Cool. What about this song, like, are you feeling? I like the fucking shit got keys the bass. Right here. This is a, this, this is what you call a banger, like. Yeah. Good performance music, yeah. like, it has a good bass and yeah. it's spacey, so like you could get like a lot of words in or not a lot of words in, and you can use a lot of, yeah, like it's like flow heavy. Yeah, yeah. You could do it's southern, flow so it's very like flow, yeah. flowish. So then what about this one, Caught Your Ear? It's uh, more classic-y, yeah. I guess. It sounds more like, boom bap, but it's more modern yeah. though, but like. Yeah, it's like that new modern boom bap yeah. type of like swing to it, like a little okay. jazzy. And like, it carries a lot of emotion to it, so like, I like this one definitely. So you're going with this one then? Yeah. yeah All right. Sure. East Coast. What? 
Crow, it up. The reaper tree be my soul release. Now I underachieve the indigo energy swirl inside of me. I gotta be the next to Socrates, cause all the hypocrisies and democracies with fucking nigga logic, G. That's why I'm thinking logically. I got beside of me like a hoster without a toaster, but I ain't no poster holder. Beast coast better than most folks, and no hope for niggas that be testing. I bring growth, you get smoke. Uh. I said that already, but now I'm freestyling off the top, nigga. No, we wildin' like we gettin' dope. What? No, we comin' yeah. through, you know yeah. I got the yeah. flow. Holla yeah. at my nigga, yeah. I can hear you know yeah. we get the dope. Uh, the ion, my forehead strong like ion. Lyrical time bomb, running hoes through your Teflon. The pink will lies that have arrived, your face is on the line. Paper on the vine, I inhale and exhale the pine vapors all the time. Come a bit closer, get reacquainted with the Messiah. Fuck at your planes, I seek higher. That limb bias, try us, and one will find home within the lion. Triumph, I wear the belt like Orion. Indigo, individual, in the physical form spawn. You're a pawn in this chess game. Checkmate, check if my check straight. Check off that check, dog. Wordplay, I'm cash as clay. Cast away a tragic grace. Sometimes you gotta be secluded so your mind you can't reclaim. You mere mortals can't tear portals to dimensions and sheer soil. But ascended masters end up passing, leave us gas. Uh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. Nah, fuck that shit. Nah, that's you it. like that shit. What the fuck?